Now, it's important to understand that with different ideologies and different religions comes different perspectives. At this time in Europe, the Christians had a more sacrificial perspective on religion. They wanted to be martyrs for their faith. They wanted to sacrifice themselves for their faith. They wanted to essentially suffer just as Christ did. Now, this was in great contrast to their Muslim Moorish uh, neighbours and their, quote, enjoyment of life and all its pleasure. Their music and singing, their learning and science were ad abhorrent to them, close quote. To ruffle the feathers of the Moors, the Christian Spanish and the Visigoths would openly blaspheme against the Prophet Muhammad to antagonise antagonize the Moors. Abd al-Rahman II and his successor Muhammad I experienced increasingly troubled reigns. Toledo won independence from Moorish rule in 852 AD. Merida won independence in 852 AD as well. King Alfonso of Leon claimed Muslim territories in the north and a peace treaty was agreed between the Christians and the Muslims in 1883 AD. The Moors then decided to expand further into Italy instead. For a short time in 846 AD, the Moors actually held Rome. Africans, per, this is a, a quote, Africans permeated all levels of Italian society, including the Medicis. The Moors then went on to found the town of Madrid in the mid 9th century. Now, northern Christian Spaniards continued to rally against Muslim, the Muslim Moors. The Christians continued to rapidly gain Moorish territory from the 11th century and by the 13th century had gained control of all of Andalus, which had been fragmented by civil unrest between the Moors. And this is a common thing that you see is often societies or empires or civilizations are overtaken when that civilization is fragmented and when an outside rival has unified. The Christians used scorched earth tactics, which were used with great effect by Julius Caesar hundreds of years earlier. This is the tactic of burning shelter, farmland and destroying supply lines as an army advances to destroy anything which may be of use getting to the enemy. The Christians broke irrigation systems and took bribes for protection. This heavily contrasted the order of Muslim rule, but help was coming from sub-Saharan Africa. And for this part of our stories, we introduce the Amoravids. At the time, Islamic leader Ibn Yasin settled in Takur by the Senegal River in West Africa. He had been previously outcasted by the Berbers in North Africa after they denounced Islam. Ibn Yasin allied with Abu Bakr and took the Senegal and Morocco in 1052 AD. By 1062, the Almoravids had founded Marrakesh, the African capital of the Moorish Empire. The Almoravids marched into Ghana, which they conquered by 1076 AD. The Almoravids were particularly dark in complexion. They rode light-footed horses and were strict fundamentalist Muslims. In 1083 AD, Al-Mutamid uh, uh, Al fled from Seville to the Almoravids begging for help in the Moorish fight against the Visigoths of Spain, i.e. Christian Spain. Y uh, Yusuf ibn uh, Tashifin raised an army of African Moors armed with Indian swords and who rode on camelback. His army was composed of every ethnic group in the Western Desert, i.e. West Africa, the Saharan Desert. Yusuf ibn Tashifin faced the Christians in 1086 AD and pushed them out of southern Spain. However, as the area settled, the Almoravids started to impose strict Islamic rule in southern Spain. Now, my task to you is to explore the following. We often see extreme views dominate politics in times of desperation or disorder. Why do you think this is? We often see chaos arising and the so-called messiahs coming up with the answer. You might see parallels here between a frustrated Britain voting for Brexit, which they see as hopeful. You might see a desperate 
uh, desperate Americans voting for Donald Trump. Often these things might be with, against their best interest, but at the moment it seems to make a lot of sense to them. Same thing we saw after World War One and the desperateness um, and uh, that of, of the Germanic people under the reparations which were enforced upon them. We see someone who turned out to obviously be an absolute tyrant and evil individual Hitler rising up to lead the people. So once again, we often see extreme views dominate politics in times of desperation or disorder. Why do you think this is? Please feel free to explore with your under your teacher's guidance. Feel free to debate under your teacher's guidance. And then you can obviously pause this and then press play or go on to the next slide whenever you're ready to uh, continue.